Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel, My Project Ideas. Today, we are going to make a Java project on hospital management system. Let us begin. Let us first see the requirements. You will be requiring a Java ID. You can choose any ID of your choice and a Swing module to create a good looking interface. Let us now understand the working of the source code. Here is my main method and I am passing an object of main screen class. It is a, a GUI form. So to create one, you need to go over here in the project package, then click on new, then go over to the Swing UI designer and then click on GUI form. Two files will be generated. I have named the form as main screen. So the first thing, uh, the when the this program runs, the user sees this interface. Okay. So the, it's a very simple interface. I have only added the uh, two buttons over here and this is the J label. Okay. And set this uh, uh, panel as pan, uh, name as main panel and given the margins in all four sides. Okay. And uh, let's go over and see the code. This is the code. These field will be added once you design the panel. And uh, then this is an object of uh, jframe class okay this is my constructor uh, these are the lines which you will require uh, whenever so whenever you create an object of main screen class this form appears okay so these uh, lines you need to add so this is uh, this sets the panel uh, this set visible to true so the panel is visible and then set content pane you need to pass your j panel name okay which uh, i have named as main panel so over here so it appears on uh, in the screen and the set location relative to i have set it to null okay so the uh, location which uh, this appears is in the center of the screen okay let's see the uh, buttons uh, so you need to add listeners to these button click on here and then click on create listeners these are the two listeners i am passing the patient's object and the doctor object okay these two objects i am passing so these two are also the forms so you need to go over here similarly and then uh, add forms okay first form is uh, doctor and then another is patient let's see the doctor's form first this is the UI which you will see. So I have added this table over here. Do not forget to add under the J scroll pane. These are the entries which I am storing in the database. Okay. These are the five uh, entries. These are all text fields. These are the J labels. And I have provided the two buttons over here for adding and updating the record. Let's see the functionality of the add button. So I added this listener over here. Okay. In similar way, uh, add uh, these following lines in the constructor and then I am calling this table data method to extract the data from the database. Okay, let's see our code in the add button first. So I am checking if there is any input from the user or not. If the data fields are null, then pop up a message. Please fill all fields to add record or else I am doing is passing this query. I am using prepared statement, so this uh, syntax you need to follow, which is this. Okay. After values, for every values, you need to add the question marks and then uh, make the connection and uh, pass your URL, the username and the password, and then use prepared statement to execute the query. So first, this object statement we are using set string. Set string is uh, if the uh, fields are of the data type string so you need to call set string if they are of type int then you need to call set int okay all the uh, fields are string so i am calling set string so for particular index i am storing the values for first index i am storing the name so i am extracting the name data from the text field and second is the age so similarly i am extracting everything and storing it uh, under particular index okay Okay, then I am calling execute update, then popping the message detail decided successfully and setting all the text fields to null after adding and then calling this table data so that uh, updated data gets appeared into the table. Okay, and in similar way, this is the update button. Uh, the only thing that changes is the query. 
okay uh, this is my query i am calling this update doctor this is my table name and uh, setting this uh, all the fields okay where name is name data so for uh, particular name these fields are updated building the connection similarly i am call, calling this uh, query into the prepare statement prepare statement okay and uh, then calling this method execute update then popping the message updated successfully and catching error if there is any uh, it will be printed into the console and then calling this table data so updated data is appear this is my mouse listener okay you can add one from going over here uh, this table right click over here click on create listener and then go to mouse listener okay mouse listener will be created so it works uh, like uh, wherever you clicked uh, if you select any particular row into from the table j table then um, there is some data stored under a particular row and under a particular column okay so that data uh, is extracted and then provided over here in the text fields okay so these two lines are required so first uh, the index is uh, extracted the selected row index is extracted from this method and we are getting the model from this method get model and storing it in this variable dm it which is of type default table model okay so under this uh, under this text field which is named as name data we want to store the data from the table okay so at the zeroth column it starts from the zeroth column so at particular row and at this zeroth column whichever row is selected extract the name and then uh, convert it into string and then set the text to name data text field similarly i am doing it for uh, every other data fields okay and this is my table data i am passing this query select all from doctor which is my table name okay i am storing the query result in the result set and then calling the set model method and passing uh, this method which i have created on my own but instead of this you need to uh, instead call db utils dot result set to table model method and pass your result set over to that method and uh, your mo uh, table will be populated with the data from the database okay and uh, then this i am catching an error if there is any and pa uh, <clears throat> and popping the message in the message dialog box okay this is all from the page uh, doctor doctor panel this and let's move to the patient panel this is the form uh, again i am just uh, extracting uh, just uh, extracting all the data from this the text fields and the date and combo box okay and then storing it in a different database different table okay this is the ui that you will see similarly i have added the add buttons and update buttons okay let's move to the file okay in similar way i am doing this these fields are automatically added then i am creating this object calling the similar way okay this jdate chooser uh, you will uh, get this only available once you add uh, the rar file okay for rar file you need to go into the settings uh, no no not settings go over to the project structure then under modules go over to add then add your rar file the rar file which is required is j calendar okay j calendar dot jar file and the mysql connector okay for this i am using the these two jar files uh, okay so this this is my constructor and these are the lines which will require okay and uh, these are the two methods which i am calling this table data is the same method update combo is over here okay this is my update combo button so in here the uh, patient's form okay so consulting doctor you will uh, receive the consulting doctor 
uh, for example the doctor stored all the doctor information that is stored over here in the okay doctor uh, table so we will extract all the names and populate this uh, combo button from those uh, names okay so what i am doing here is uh, selecting all from doctor okay this is another table which uh, i am using it in there under this java file okay doctor dot java file so what i am doing is uh, storing this result into the result set and if there is any data in that okay then i am getting all under the name okay names i am getting all the names and adding it in the combo box this is the combo box okay uh, let me show you this this is the combo box once i run the program you'll understand okay this is my table data in what i have uh, shown over here okay this is the same method okay uh this all works in the same way this is the add button only the fields are different and the table name is different okay and uh, in similar way i am adding for combo box you need to call this get selected item and for data fields uh, normal text fields you need to call get text okay and this date for date you need to add this to the panel okay uh i have created this uh, j panel and set it to border layout and named it as date panel so over here under the patient's constructor uh, call this uh, add button uh, add method date panel dot add okay and provide the date chooser over here okay calendar will be added and then so for formatting it formatting the date you need to call this date format dot get date instance and then dot format and uh, provide this uh, whatever the date is chosen from the user okay i'm formatting it in the same way the user has chosen the and storing it in this variable of type string okay then passing this date okay this date over here in the third column okay this update method also works in the same way and uh, this is the mouse listener uh, which i have uh, shown over here in two okay this is the mouse listener it works in the same way okay let's run the program okay here is the interface let's go over here okay it provides these two are added okay already added into the table so let's check okay there's this name dr rajiv and dr Anna. okay so you can add over here and update the record let's uh, add one okay so i'm adding one name Let's just keep his job. Okay, you see these are added, and when you go over here, you can see all the three are here. Okay, let's uh, add the patient name. The age, the appointment date, okay, the slot, and the doctor. Add a call. See, uh, okay, it's working. Okay, this is it. I hope you understand the working of the source code. This is it, and uh, uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel for more interesting project ideas.